Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and macOS Monterey is here and available for all users. In this video, I'm gonna show you four different ways to be able to download the macOS Monterey full installer. We got a lot to cover, let's jump in and get started. Okay, let's start off this video by asking a question. Why would I need a video or an article to show me how to download? Well, it's pretty simple. If this is your first time doing it, this will be new to you. And then another reason is the full installer upgrade has been known to cause problems for users, whether they're trying to get it through the app store and getting an error that the version is not available, or they try to update through system preferences and they get an error trying to download. That's why I'm showing you two additional ways in the four total to be able to download the full installer if you're having problems Let's first look at the normal way where most people download macOS Monterey in System Preferences. So this Mac here is running macOS Big Sur, and we're going to open up System Preferences by clicking on the gear and then going into Software Update. In here, it's going to check to see what's available for this macOS Big Sur Mac. There's going to be two sections in here. The first section is, is if you're running something that's older than macOS Monterey, it's going to show up in here as an upgrade. Because remember, there's two differences. Upgrade for or the operating system and update for macOS Big Sur because look at this, another update is available. So you have to click on this and say, oh, well, the macOS Big Sur update 11.6.1 was just released too. So that's why they give you two optional ways to go here. You can jump to Monterey or you can continue to run Big Sur and install security updates after that. This is the way that most people are gonna be able to download and install macOS Monterey. So to start, all you need to do is click upgrade now. Now, when you look at that button, it might be a little bit confusing because it says upgrade Right now, and you might say, Well, why would I want to risk upgrading my system to macOS Monterey? Well, the good news is, is that this button will only download the full installer. Let's click upgrade now and get the download started. It's going to find the, the update in the catalog and you immediately start to download the full installer. And you can see in here that the full installer is 12 gigabytes in size. When this download is finished, it's going to put the installer inside your applications folder. So let's click that now. Let's go to the finder, click the finder, and then click on applications. And then it's going to put it right in here under install macOS Monterey. And we'll see what that looks like in just a second when it's done downloading. Okay, there it is. Install macOS Monterey. The entire download has finished downloading. And what will happen next is, is that either the window for the upgrade will pop up or you can click upgrade now to get it to pop up again. And this is what it's going to look like when the GUI message says install macOS Monterey. And this is where you can continue. That's what I'm trying to say. It does not install automatically. That's how we do it in system preferences to download the full installer. Now keep in mind, this is why I'm showing you additional ways. Last year with macOS Big Sur, this had nothing but problems. And that's not saying that future versions like 12.1, 2, or 3 might have issues downloading from software update. So that's number one. Let's move on to step number two, downloading macOS Monterey from the App Store. Okay, the second way I'm going to show you how to download macOS Monterey full installer is from the Mac App Store. So let's go to this article here, and I'll put a link in the description with all these links, is I put a link to all of the Mac App Store links for the different operating systems from macOS Monterey all the way back to High Sierra. So all you need to do is click on this link right here, and it'll bring you directly to a link that'll go right to the App Store and fire up the application. And there it is. Mac OS Monterey. All we need to do to get the full installer is click on the get button. What it's going to do is it's going to open up software update again, just like we did in step one and load it up the same way. There's no difference. All it's doing is telling software update where to get the full installer. Now here's the message. It says, are you sure you want to download Mac OS Monterey 12.0.1? You click on download and it'll immediately begin the download. Okay. And the third way to download the full Mac OS Monterey installer is to use my website to be able to download download the full installer installassistant.pkg and if you're new to downloading macOS this way you might wonder what is the installassistant.pkg well I'm going to show you I'm going to use an application called software update inspector to show you what that package is this application goes directly to Apple servers using the software update catalog URL to be able to pull down everything that's available from Apple and this is where I get the link to the full installer of macOS Monterey and macOS Big Sur. So if we click on this, we can see everything available under packages that is downloaded directly from the App Store to put the full installer together. And look, here's that installassistant.pkg, the full 11 or 12 gigabyte package. Here's the full link directly from apple.com to be able to download the full installer. So what I do is I take this link here and I put it on my website for macOS Monterey to be able to download in an easy way 
wait for you to get down to be able to download multiple versions. Because that's the problem with step one and step two. It only allows you to download the latest version of macOS Monterey. What if you want to be able to go back one because one of your applications is not compatible? Well, the only way to do it is this way or the number four way that I'm going to show you in a little bit here. So let's say we want to be able to download a previous version. Just come to this site here and I'll put a link in the description. As macOS Monterey gets older, you're going to see macOS Monterey 12.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they'll all be listed here just like I do for macOS Big Sur. This is what the macOS Big Sur download page that I have looks like. And you can see I have every single version of macOS Big Sur from 11.0.1 on the first day of release all the way into 11.6.1 today's release date. So you can download all these different versions and you can see because Apple sometimes pulls previous versions but keeps a good amount of versions back from, for example, you can download all the way back to 11.3.1 right now if you wanted to. So that's what the install assistant package is when we're talking about downloading the full installer. To begin, all we need to do is click on this install assistant package and it's going to download it right to your downloads folder. So we'll click on this now. You'll see it jump and down, they'll put it right into your downloads folder. And when it's done, we'll be able to install that package. Okay, the download's finished. Let's click on our downloads folder or open up Finder and click on downloads on the left hand side and we'll click on install assistant.pkg. Here's the installer. We'll click on continue and we'll click install and then we'll type in our administrator password. The install assistant is basically going to install or move the full macOS Monterey installer app directly to your applications folder. So we'll click close here and then we'll click on finder to we'll open up applications and there it is, install macOS Monterey, the full installer version. So that's step three to be able to get different versions of macOS with one click download and one click install. Okay, the fourth way is to use the software update binary, the one that is used when you open up software update, but we're gonna give it powerful commands in terminal to be able to download different versions and show us what's available. I've got a part here, number three, how to download Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina and Mojave directly with software update with the option fetch full installer. So let's open up the terminal app and take a look at that. To begin, all we need to do is type in software update to look at all the options available to us. And here, right away is the one we want. We're going to use the option list full installers to show us what is available in Apple servers. So we'll click on the up button here to show the software update that was that we just typed in before. We'll hit the space bar and we'll do a command V to, to paste that option and hit enter. It's going to go contact that software update catalog URL that we were looking at earlier with software update inspector to see all of the full installers that is available on Apple servers. And look at this. We have eight different full installers versions of macOS Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina available to us to download right now. So let's say we wanted to be able to download 11.6. We can do that. 11.5.2, 10.15.7 Catalina is also available on Apple servers using this command. So let's say we want to download 12.0.1. All we need to do is scroll back up and we want to fetch full installer right here. We'll copy that. And then we'll tab up with the command again for software update. We'll do a space, we'll paste, fetch full installer. Now we need one more option. We need to be able to fetch a particular version. So we're gonna grab the full installer version, copy that, command C, we'll, we'll scroll down again, do a space, command V to paste, and then do another space for 12.0.1 and then hit enter and it's immediately going to scan for that installer version and if it finds it immediately start to download it directly to your applications folder and what's interesting about this is is that it already has detected that i have the mac OS monterey full installer in my application folder and it started up for me if you didn't it would immediately start to download it and put it right into your applications folder and that's four ways to download mac OS monterey do you have any questions let me know and if you like this video i would appreciate it to give it a thumbs up or share it and if you want to see more videos like this in the future click on that subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber or a viewer you know i truly appreciate you and we'll catch you in the next video thanks